Hello everyone, we are the Detecting Smiths. Smiths. All right, everybody, it's about, what is it, 34 degrees here in South Mississippi. We loaded up, got stuff in the back. We headed to Florida Hunt 6. See you there. I didn't tell you, yep, the resistance value is good. The resistance value is good. This one's supposed to be a 10 ohm resistor. It's only resistor up here. I'm glad you guys have seen the stuff on the page. You know, obviously I'm going to go over a couple of things you know. You guys all know about filling your holes? No. If you go into a gated area, make sure that you close the gate behind you. I am not a horse rider. I'm not going to run after a horse. The bathrooms are located right here next to registration. I'm trying to remember everything this morning. It's been, it's been a long night. Yeah. We're all out of maps, so unless somebody printed up their own map, we're all out of maps that we had. Um, we will have the prize drawings around 4.30. And yes, make sure all the gates are closed uh, and uh, stay away from the rear end of the horses. <laughs> All right. uh, there is a pen up top. Uh, it's kind of hard to get into. You see about a 500 pound pig. She's friendly, but stay out of the pen. Uh, other than that, uh, everything's pretty open. If you've got to go over a fence, chances are uh, you're you know, going to somebody else's property because the whole property is out. So uh, I don't know if you guys know what we do here, but I'm going to give you a quick description. This whole place is dedicated to our veterans. The house that you see to your to my right, the gray one, uh, that's strictly for our vets. We do retreats here from Friday through Monday. Uh, helps with uh, you know healing the hidden wounds of war, post traumatic stress, traumatic brain injury, or sometimes it's just to say thank you. All right, guys, we are at Florida Hunt Six, and I'm right here off the road. Got J Man and. Wig TV over there, Metal Sharks, J Man of Metal Sharks, and Wig TV. I got a nail. There's a lot of iron in here, so I said I was going to film the first find, and I forgot to uh, turn my camera on. I got so excited. All right, we'll see you guys at the next. All right, all right, folks. You can't hear it, but maybe you can see that. It's bouncing between 60, well, it just hit 53. But it's been pretty solid 60, 63 right here. This is going to be our first mid-tone signal. A shotgun shell head stamp. That's a pretty old one, too. All right. There you go. Alright guys, I didn't even film this. I don't know what, I got excited, had some people come by. We were all excited. I found something that was not a gum wrapper or a nail. I don't know what this is. It's like a pen of some kind. Not really sure. I don't know. But, with that being said, I got a solid 45 signal right here. Several more. Oh yeah, it's a harmonica reed, guys. That's a harmonica reed. You can see there's the uh, there's the actual reed itself. But what I'm on is a broken up piece of a harmonica reed plate because there's the actual reed. Cool beans. Hey, mama. Looks like I got a bunch of pieces of it in here. I'm not going to bore you guys with me trying to dig it all out of here. So I'm going to see how much of it I can find, and I'll see you at the next signal. Alright guys, Mama's on, a, Mama's on a signal right here. If you'll look with me right here, 
I started finding pieces of that harmonica reed plate right in here and it's like pieces of it scattered and I want to say I just got another tone right in here now mama is right here and she's digging up pieces of a harmonica reed plate that is cool that's still got a reed on it but let me see that See there, there's the reed still pinned on there, the little oh, little good. brass reed. Mm -hmm. That is cool. And I so, would have never have known what it was. That's old stuff in here, no doubt, guys. All right, we're going to keep digging. So it looks like me and Mama's, we're going to be the harmonica twins. We're on to something here. All right, we'll see you guys. Oh, wow, Mama just pulled a bigger piece out, guys. Get around here in the light. Okay. See, it's got the reeds on it, too. Yeah. It's still got yeah. the reeds on it. See, this is telling me that more than likely this is a lost harmonica, dropped, lost, or whatever. Not that the reeds broke and somebody pulled them out and tossed it away. Now, it may have because there's maybe one lost reed, but cool beans. Yeah. All right, guys, we're here with uh, Mr. Doug, and right over here across the road from us, he has dug up something cool. A lot cooler than a harmonica reed. Unfortunately, I broke it when I dug it. Yeah, yeah that happens from time to time. What, what do you think that is? Is that like a candle holder? I don't know. I don't know. This ain't deep enough to be a candle mm. holder, is it? Mm. Boy, the stuff you find out in the woods. Yeah. <laughs> Well, there may have been a home site right in this area. I'm thinking so, because like I said, we found a bunch of harmonica reed right over in there. We well, one of the guys had the a other stuff. map on his phone that shows a, a black dot over in this area, so I'm wondering, I'm going to move back over in that area. That I'm is cool. i there for a while. That's cool right there. Yeah. It's like a little girl. What is it, like a little girl just sitting there? Got a little dog. A little dog? Is that, yeah. That is too cool. Like she's setting up against a tree or something almost. Or looks like she's part of the tree. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea what it is. That is strange. But it's cool. It is. And that's what we do this for. <laughs> find something cool, that's what that's I it. All right, we'll see you guys at the next good find. All right guys, I got a signal here. It's a 62, 63. I'm just about sure it's gonna be a shotgun shell. Or a pull tab. And look. Another old shotgun shell. That is... I can't even see what that says. U.S. Defense. Number 12. Made in the USA. I ain't never seen anything like that. That is super cool. All right, I'm going to put that in my finds pouch. And we'll see you guys at the next good signal. Let me start first off by apologizing for my poor eyesight. This head stamp clearly states U.S. Defiance and not U.S. Defense. U.S. being the United States Cartridge Company, was an early manufacturer of cartridge ammunition for small arms. The company was founded in 1869 by American Civil War General Benjamin Butler. Company headquarters were in Lowell, Massachusetts. The company continued to manufacture cartridges up until 1927 when they were purchased by Winchester. Cartridges that have made in the USA stamped on them were manufactured after 1926. All right, folks, right down here about four inches deep, I got another paper shotgun shell. I, I thought it was going to be a shotgun shell head stamp, so I wasn't going to film it. But I just had to show you guys this. I have never seen head stamps like this. This must be, I'm thinking maybe something military, I don't know. May or may not be. I've never seen a U.S. Climax. It says number 12 across the top. And then U.S. 
on each side and then climax in the middle some old paper shells right there all right see you guys at the next good find all right fine folks i brought you back as you can see i got an 8081 right in here right in the middle of a big old pile of horse manure and it's a shallow one i wonder what that horse ate i hope that horse was eating silver dimes Look, it's in the clump. I'll spare you all the bad singing. Well, it's still in the clump. It's still in the clump. It's still in the clump. It's ooh, it's a coin. Look at there. It's 8081, so that's going to have to be copper. Let's see what we got here. Absolutely, man. I got an 80 an 8081 right in the middle of a pile of horse poop. <laughs> that's a classic. <laughs> so, I uh, raked it aside with my shovel. It's a copper penny of some kind. I just, it's so crusted I can't see it, but it's got a memorial back. The, oh, okay. the obverse is uh, it's pretty crusty. Yeah. So it's a memorial, so uh, well, it's memorial, something. Some and either that, I was hoping the horse would be eating some wheat pennies. So. <laughs> trying, huh? Yeah, bad joke, bad joke. <laughs> uh, anyway. I got a I got my first corn of the day, so Alright All right, folks, we ain't been finding a whole lot other than some shotgun shells, some bolts and stuff like that, and some modern bullets. I got a solid 80 right here that says it's about six inches deep. Well, it just bounced to 79, 81. So from 79, but most of the time it's just solid 80 right here. So I figure we'll live dig it. Maybe I won't make you guys too drunk. But we're out here in the field and uh I got into a big iron patch right in here, so I've kind of been working this iron patch pretty heavy. So, all right, let's see if it's in the plug or in the hole. Well, it's not in the hole. It says it's in the plug. All right. How patient can you be? Well, on this side of the plug right here. See if we can use this not the premium digger pry it out of there. See what we can come up with. And there it is. It's a coin guys. It's a it is a coin and it is a rusty joker boy. Let's see what we got here. I think Based off of everything else I'm seeing in this area right here. Whoop. Yeah, you are not hooked to the simplex, son. You can't just drag that AP Pro all over the place. Let's see if I can see what we got here. Well, several other things I have picked up in this area have been burned. And this coin looks like maybe it's been burned too, so maybe... I don't know if there was a house site right in here at one time. Wow. That thing is about as crusty as they get. All right. Uh, and I don't have any toothpicks with me. I think Mama's got the toothpicks in her pouch. All right. If I can get this thing cleaned up and see what it is, I'll get back with you guys. All right, guys, I got a signal right down in here, but I'm going to say it was about eight inches deep. 
and I just popped out a button. What kind of button is this? Looks like a two piece. Still got the shank. What is that? Never seen nothing like it. It's old. It looks like it may have some writing around the edge of it. But <laughs> just like everything else I've dug today, it is super crusty. Except for the front side. That's uh that's pretty cool. Alright guys. It was real scratchy signal now I see why. Because it's got a Looks like it's got an iron back. Alright, we'll see you guys at the next. Alright, I got a 48 right in here and right out the side of that clump right there. I just pulled this little button. I don't know if you guys can, how well you guys can see that. It's kind of a little ornate little button back side of it looks like it's iron and shanks missing or maybe the shanks there and it's just <laughs> one big rusty blob the whole back of it is but looks like a little small button that's cool nonetheless Hope you guys can see it. Alright, we'll see you guys at the next signal. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are working our way back up here to the, uh, I don't know what you call it, <laughs> event site area. And right in there, I just got a real jumpy signal, 70 signal, and I got me an old key. It's a national key. Hi. Hadn't I found one of these before? I think so. A, a national. I found one of these at that old home site in uh, Jackson County where we've been hunting. A key to the nation. <laughs> a national key. Alright. We don't see you guys again. We'll see you up here at the event site. Alright guys. Orange. Look at this. That's my next investment right Who is there. that? Right here. <laughs> right here. <laughs> Look at that. My next investment right there is a, is a, is a GoPro camera right there, buddy. Well, that is not a GoPro. That is a no-pro. <laughs> hey, I don't care. It's a Chinese <laughs> dog. We got the Weedy Boys. Y'all say hey to everybody. Wig. J-Man. Metal Shark. Uh, dirt trolling Troy, by the way. Dirt trolling Troy. <laughs> I, I, was gonna, I wasn't going to mention Troy because Troy showed us up. So. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Troy had to find his name. Charlie Field. What is it? Uh, yeah. It's a half, 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 half I think it's a half. I don't, I don't know. But yeah, I'm assuming with real. the size. And look how thin that thing is. Uh. I wonder if it's a nice oh, hole, too. Yeah, it's got the square hole. It's an 1849 matron. Nice. Yeah, go for it. Oh my goodness. Right, well, Congratulations. I got an old pendant. Yeah, you have it. Show him. Show him yours. What you Shit, got? man. Everybody. What every one of our posse. Oh, all of our posse going. got good. Sucks. Well, I mean. I was up till 3 o'clock this morning just grabbing stuff and throwing them in bags. <laughs> then everybody else came with all this other stuff. So I was kind of. Oh, she's going to pull numbers off. Okay. Am I going to pull my numbers off? <laughs> <laughs> What you got there, Pat? Look at that, look at that. Go ahead, point right past. Yeah. <laughs>
Right here. Right here. Woo. Mama. What'd you get, Mama? What'd you get, Mama? No, that's, that's you. Four, six, that's six, you. Six, really? I don't oh, big raw. I got one, six, nine. I knew he had it. I let him cut in front of me. And a shirt. And a shirt. That's a nice shirt. Oh, that's one of Matt's shirts. That's Matt House. Right here. No, they're taking it now. Now they're taking it now. Barb, she, she does some amazing things. She has her own group on Facebook, but, you know, there's a lot of collective groups all came together, but she put this together for you. Wow. So you can hang that in the house. Is the best get to see it? Put it up in the sun there, boy. Nice. Wow. Right. Thank you. 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 Thank you.